In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to find your Looker instance URL in just about five minutes. Whether you're new to Looker Studio or you've been dabbling with it for a while, understanding how to grab the instance URL is key to sharing your work and collaborating with others effectively. So let's dive right in and streamline the process for you. First things first, go to the Looker Studio website. You can do this by entering https colon slash slash lookerstudio.google.com slash into your browser's address bar. Once the page loads, you'll notice an inviting use it for free button. This isn't just your gateway to using Looker Studio without any cost, but also the first step towards getting to your Looker instance URL. Go ahead and click that button. After clicking, you'll be prompted to enter your email address. It's important to use the email associated with your Looker or Google account to ensure seamless access. Fill in your email address in the given field. Moving forward, you will need to enter your password. So after typing in your email, proceed to input your password into the relevant field and then click on the login button. This will officially log you into your Looker Studio account, thus bringing you closer to your goal. Once logged in, your next destination is the Looker Studio Home. You can easily navigate there by using the Looker Studio Home link provided on the platform or simply going to the home page if you're already logged in. On the home page, among the various options and files available, you might be wondering what to do next. Well, your next action is to select an existing file that you wish to work with. By doing so, you can proceed to the subsequent steps required to find your instance URL. After selecting the file, you'll notice a button that looks like a share icon or as described on the platform, an share arrow underscore drop underscore down. Clicking on this share button is crucial as it reveals additional options for managing how you share and access your Looker reports or dashboards. Among these options, you're looking for one in particular. Get report link. By clicking on get report link, you open the door to secure and efficient sharing of your Looker reports. The next and final action to get your hands on that sought after URL is to click on get a link to this report. This option is designed to provide a direct shareable link to the report or dashboard you're working on. Upon clicking, Looker Studio will generate a unique URL for your specific report. This URL is what you can share with teammates, stakeholders or clients, giving them direct access to the insights you've compiled. And voila, that's the journey to finding your Looker instance URL in a nutshell. It may have seemed like a handful of steps at first, but by breaking it down, we've seen that each step is straightforward and purposeful. Before we wrap up, here are a couple of additional tips to keep in mind. Always make sure you're logged into the correct Google or Looker account. This will save you from any unnecessary confusion or access issues. If you plan to share the URL you obtained, consider the access permissions. Looker Studio allows you to manage who can view or edit your reports, so take a moment to adjust these settings according to your needs. And there you have it, everything you need to know about finding your Looker instance URL effectively and efficiently. Remember, being able to share your Looker Studio reports securely is paramount in collaborative environments. By following these steps, you'll ensure that your insights and analyses can reach the right eyes without a hitch. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this guide has been helpful. Feel free to revisit any of the steps as needed and happy analyzing.